Hello and welcome to part 2 of this tutorial series in which I show you how to create photorealistic trees for games using the free software Treeit and how to use those trees with Unreal Engine. As I mentioned in the previous part, the finished Unreal Engine project can be downloaded from the link in the description below to help you if you get stuck somewhere. The download has the full Unreal Engine 5.1 project as well as the exported trees. So if you are not interested in learning the software, you can start from part 3 with those exported trees and learn how it's done in Unreal Engine. So let's start. I will open tree from the built-in library, so this date palm, and I will modify it as I need. And I like to start with these already provided trees because they give a really good solid base to start from and the developer has done a really great job to make them look really good. Let's customize the trunk a little bit. Let's increase the length and then also increase the radius and maybe we can also bend it a little bit so let's increase this pen minimum this is too much let's decrease it a little bit and let's move on to the leaves for the leaves the reference that i'm using tells me that the density of the leaves is a lot more than we already have and the dead leaves has very little curvature in them and are much longer than the healthier leaves so let's try to create this effect then so we can see here that there are actually three layers of leaves and we can click this show only check to see which layer is which one so this one is the healthy leaves and this is the dead leaves. Okay, let's first work on the healthy leaves. Increase the count to make it a bit denser. Maybe this is too much. Let's also then increase the width a little bit to make the leaves a bit shorter and then let's play with the properties for bending the leaves okay and then also this one there's also this property to increase gravity on the leaves and I can want to also decrease the wind a little bit and then also one last time adjust the bend and in the end once again let's increase the leaf count a little bit let's work with the dead leaves now select it and also increase the count for it first let's decrease the width to half maybe and we want to have it straight down as much as possible so let's play with the bend properties a little bit and see what can we get there let's decrease the side bend play with the gravity and 
yes and decrease the wind on it because I would figure that the dead leaves are heavier and won't be affected by wind that much and also increase the count in the end like a lot more than the healthy leaves and in the end decrease the width again and increase the length So you can really customize it as much as you like. Don't forget to save and choose save as because not to overwrite the built-in library tree. Create a new folder called palm1 and also name it palm1. One last tip before I export is that you can use control click to really uh, finely place the leaves so you can position them and scale them and control click anywhere on the canvas to uh, get out of that mode so let's export now file export and choose fbx use the same folder as the save file and name your xbx what you want if you now open this folder you will see the exported data which is the fbx file and all the textures along with the tree it project file so if you want to open this tree again and modify it a little bit you can use this file and this is actually the real power of tree it that you can quickly create variations of trees so let's just do it with this tree as well this is already open let's save it as a new tree so create a new folder palm2 and name the file and then let's work on the branch a little bit decrease the length increase the width more the radius and maybe uh, remove the bend and then Increase the size of the leaves and also just decrease the count for the dead leaves as well and the length and then save it and export this second tree as well. And now we have two very different looking trees in no time at all. In the next part we will hop into Unreal, import the trees and set up a material with the wind effect. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions leave them in the comments and I will try to answer. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel to give me some motivation to create more videos like this.